Oh my god, you guys, look, wild horses. I know this is a crappy digital zoom, but you can barely see them over there. Far out, man. How cool is that? Wonder Hussey here. I'm up in the remote northwestern corner of Nevada. Okay, take a minute and look at a map. Look at the northwestern corner of Nevada. It's probably blank. There's really no towns. There's no highways. There's not even really any paved roads in this part of the country. It's this weird, desolate, forgotten part of America. But if you take the time to explore it, you'll find that it's full of amazing hidden treasures <laughs> like this beautiful natural hot creek. Okay, this is part three of my northwestern Nevada adventure that I'm on with two girlfriends of mine. And last night we stayed at Soldier Meadows, which is in the Black Rock Desert. And this morning we left the little cabin that we stayed in, and you can watch my video on that. But we drove up north through some really desolate landscapes. I mean, I was expecting the roads to be much worse than they were because it's just so friggin' desolate and like, who lives up there? But hey, guess what? The roads were in pretty good shape and we made excellent time. And our plan today is to hit two hot springs <laughs> with very interesting names. Bog and Dyke. Okay, first we're gonna go to bog bog hot spring and what it is is it's in this huge high desert well plain you can see there's some kind of mesas over there and some mountains surrounding it but it's we're in this giant desert valley and there's this hot creek running through the valley you can see steam rising off of it it's a cold day i'm going to say it's in the 40s maybe maybe 30s even it's it's pretty cold but the hot spring looks to be pretty toasty, so I think I'm going to take my chances and take a dip. Okay, I'm not really sure what this is. Some kind of weird infrastructure that looked like at one time maybe you were able to pump hot water out of the creek, take a nice hot shower. Wouldn't that be nice? Unfortunately, I don't think it's working anymore. And besides, why take a hot shower when you can take a hot bath? <laughs> Check this out. I think this is the soaking area of the creek. It looks like it's sort of dammed off. There's this little waterfall and then there's kind of a pool down there and that looks like the place where we want to go soak. Look at that. How friggin beautiful is this? Now I have to say that one of my viewers actually told me about this hot spring a while ago. Nikki, you were right. This place is off the chain. All right, I'm all suited up and ready to soak, but before I get in, I'm gonna fire up some hot cocoa so I can have cocoa and soco. <laughs> and I'm gonna kick it up a notch with a little bit of yeah, Carol Ann's, which, you know, Bailey's. it's not Bailey's, but close enough, and it's cheaper, and you know me, I'm frugal. It tastes the same anyways, who cares? Actually, I did a product demo for Carolyn's once, uh, pouring free samples at a liquor store. So we had to learn about Carolyn's, and I can tell you that unlike other Irish cream liqueurs, Bailey's, Carolyn's is made with honey, not sugar, and it has a longer shelf life than Bailey's. So there you go, two little known facts about Carolyn's. Okay, now I'm ready to soak. <sighs> <laughs> now this is what it's all about. This is one of my favorite hot springs I've ever been to actually and that's saying a lot because I've been to a lot of them and I've been to some really good ones. This is just, I don't know man, the combination of how remote it is, it's very unassuming, it's, there's no like crazy big craggy rocks or anything, just this desert meadow with a creek running through it that happens to be amazing. Cheers to the good life. <laughs>
Okay, and another great thing about this hot spring is that it's really hot, okay? I, thermometer is only saying like 102, 103, but I don't know, this thermometer might need to be recalibrated because to me it feels more like 104, 105. It's just the perfect temperature. And like I said, it's only in the 40s today or maybe even 30s, so it's really cold outside. I guess maybe that makes the water feel warmer. I'm not sure how that works, but it's hot. Love it. Okay, wow bog was really cool better than expected now let's see what dyke is all about <laughs> Okay, we're on our way to Dyke Hot Spring, but we had to stop off and get gas because, I mean, if you looked at the part of the country that we're traveling through, it's very remote. And when you see a gas station, you gotta stop and get it. So we went to this place called Denio, which I'm telling you, take out your map or open up Google Maps and look this town up. You'll see how friggin' remote it is. Like, it's the only town even on the map in this entire area, and this is it. <laughs> It's a gas station and then a motel. That's it. There's nothing else here. Oh, excuse me, except for this awesome, I don't know if that's like a grenade launcher with an American flag. Check this out. Wow, I don't know what this is, but it's the main attraction in town here. I mean, you know you're in the boonies when there's a billboard across the street that says Winnemucca, <laughs> straight ahead 98 miles. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Anyway, we filled up our gas tanks and we're good to go for another 300 miles. So we're gonna head back into the wilderness to Dyke Hot Springs. Okay, we gassed up at Denio Junction and came out here and found Dyke Hot Spring. Kind of a similar landscape to what bog was but it's on the foothills or the slope of these mountains which actually if you go over these mountains you end up back in the black rock wilderness at soldier meadows where we were yesterday it's kind of cool to be on the other side of these mountains because i've been to burning man a bunch of times and you know you look at those mountains when you're at burning man and i always wondered what was on the other side of them well now i know dyke hot springs wow basically there's this big kind of marshy pond and then over here, check this out. You can see the source is running down the hillside there. It's like a hot creek. And then they've attached those pipes directly into the ground, I think, up at the source. And then that pipe runs down, 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 and fills up these two bathtubs. I love that somebody dragged these two heavy bathtubs all the way out here and set them up. That is so cool. So when we got here, we saw like a lot of litter on the ground, a couple plastic bags, a beer bottle, but you know what? It actually wasn't litter. It was here to plug up the tubs because these tubs were empty when we got here, right? Like, see? So we jammed the beer bottle into that one to plug it up. And then there was a plastic water bottle that we jammed into this one to plug it up. And it looks like it worked pretty well because this tub is already almost full and we've only been here, I don't know, five minutes. It's pretty good flow. I mean, you can see how fast this creek is moving. And we did have to do a little bit of uh, repair work on the hose back here. It had been tied with an old rag and that was leaking really badly. So thankfully I happened to have a roll of duct tape with me. Thanks to my friend Jim for giving me this roll of duct tape at Saline Valley when I was there. So we used that to repair the hose and now we're just waiting for these tubs to fill. And it's gonna be a while, so I'll check in with you in a bit. Holy cow, this water is so friggin' hot. I can't even get in, so I gotta wait here <laughs> until this water cools down enough for a soak. Ow! I mean, I like a hot soak, but this is ridiculous. And unfortunately, my thermometer doesn't seem to be very reliable because, you know, the earlier it was saying that stuff was much cooler. Well, the, <laughs> it's all the way to the top of this thermometer, like 130, yikes. <laughs> so, Reliable or not, it's too hot to soak, that's for sure. <laughs> the wait. Okay, while I'm waiting for this tub to cool off, I just noticed, or my friends noticed, that the topography here might be part of why they call this Dyke Hot Spring. 
Because if you look at the way the water flows there and there coming to this Y, it's kind of like eating at the Y, if you know what I mean. Oh man, unfortunately that spring was probably going to take another half hour to cool down enough. And you can see behind me it's already getting pretty dark. So we really didn't have the luxury of waiting for it to cool down because this day it started out really good but it kind of went downhill. The cabin that we were planning to stay at tonight wasn't really a cabin and my friends are in a tent and it's going to be like down in the teens then. It's going to be very cold. They can't sleep in a tent. So if we can't find a cabin with a wood stove, we're just going to have to go into town and get a room. And that creepy gas station that we were at earlier had rooms for $77 a night, but the place was kind of weird. Like there was nobody in there except for this poor lonely bartender and she was she gave my friends drinks without them even asking, like trying to it was almost like she was trying to seduce them into staying. <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, she was very nice. I don't mean to disparage her. And it was a fine establishment. Their gas was great. Reasonably priced. Well, kind of expensive. But for where it was, what do you expect? Anyways, it's too dark to find another cabin. We're going to Winnemucca and get a room there. And I had to bail on soaking at Dyke Hot Spring. Okay, unfortunately we struck out on cabins in the wilderness. We had to leave the wilderness altogether. Or I suppose you could say we're still in the wilderness to a certain extent. We went to Winnemucca and got a room at the Winners Hotel Casino. And they happened to be right in the middle of a big hunting season giveaway for people who have players right, club cards. Hear that? They're giving away a 12 gauge right now. We're giving away the 12 gauge next. Open up the 12 gauge. This is a big deal. And they gave us these free hats just for asking. How cool is that? So now I'm ready to go out and kill some deer. Anyways, it was an interesting day. Didn't go as expected, but it's still a great adventure. And I'm about to order a big plate of nachos, so Jennifer I am Walker, not complaining. Jennifer Walker. She just won a 12 gauge.